everybody's having a great day. Man, it was rainy all day today in Keystone Heights, Florida. <laughs> you know it'll be a good, uh, a good topic, huh? I promised you guys I'd give you a good one today. So, man, I was just beat, beat, beat yesterday. I'm actually on my way right now to deliver a little puppy to a new home. And I figured, what a great time to go ahead and talk to you guys about closing. I mean, this is probably one of the most difficult parts of our business is asking somebody for the close. And I think before we ask them for the close, because a lot of people will do that, right? They'll actually go right for the close. They go for the jugular right after they've seen the video. Either they've done that or they don't even ask. Uh, they're like, okay, well, we'll talk to you next time, you know, and when we share again. Hey, hey, hey. So, uh, you know, this is, I guess we'll call it Sales 101. Hey, Virginia. I, I know you're not Virginia. Hey, Jenny. Um, you're from Virginia. The uh, Sales 101. When you meet somebody and you share the information with them, regardless of what this is, this could be an, at a yard sale, okay? And uh, when you meet someone for the first time, we are all taught we must listen to the prospect, right? We must find out what their pain is. So mentally, you need to start checking off things as they come up. You're gonna hear the same issues over and over and over again, okay? It is Good Friday, and it's a great Friday. You know, just before Easter, it's wonderful. So, I'm driving, so I can't keep reading, guys. Stop texting me. So, <laughs> so this is the key. You're going to hear the same things from different people all the time, okay? Oh, I hate my job. I hate my boss. I can't stand working on weekends. I can't stand the fact that I'm missing my children. You know, I'm not being able to be with my kids. Uh, what else? Oh my goodness, there's so many, right? There's just so many. It doesn't matter what they are. But for instance, when you're hearing these things, you should be making mental checklists. So since we're using our mind, what are we gonna do? We're gonna drink Axio before we even get involved with all this stuff. And we're also gonna hear that, 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 that saying, ah, doesn't matter what it is. I don't even want to go there. All right. So by listening to these people talk, 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 you need to know when to ask them for the close. And the best way to gauge that, even if it's the first exposure or if it's the seventh exposure, I ask this every single time I give an exposure. I don't care if it's the first, fifth, sixth, seventh, eighth, ninth, or tenth. I constantly ask them at the end of my, my talk with them just to catch up. So listen, you know, I gave you some of those things to check out. Were you able to check them out? Yes, yes, yes. That's awesome. Okay, well, from a, a scale from 1 to 10, I know I asked you this last time. From a scale to 1 to 10, where do you see yourself using this as a vehicle for a plan B or for an additional stream of income coming into your home I don't say anything I don't say anything whatsoever I just simply be quiet at that point I wait for that and then they give me a number you know anything from a seven and above is is wonderful that means they're in okay uh, I go for the close from seven and above six and below means they do need more information even a seven or an eight needs more information but you know that they're in the business at that point so when you get to the point where you're at a high enough number in that scale to one to 10, the next thing to do is to know how to ask for the close. You know that it's time to close. Now you have to know how to ask for the close. If you've been doing your follow-up properly and you have a book or a three by five system or how you're using your cell phone to keep notes for that one specific person or you're using an app I have an app that I use that tells me, okay, hey, you need to call this person today. It's not overdue, but it's due today. That's how I keep following up. And every time that I make a contact, my notes go into that and it gives me a tabulation of all my notes. 
so that you know if you're if you're looking I'm gonna have to give you guys that app uh, when I post this on on YouTube because I can't remember the name of it and I have to get out of I have to get out of the program in order to see it to give it to you I promise you I'll give it to you uh, in the notes at the bottom of uh, the description when I place this on YouTube so if you have been keeping good records of everything that's happened and all the things that this person has said to you it's easy to ask for the close at this point they've told you there are seven eight nine or ten and now you're saying you know what based on what you told me you know during this whole period of time where we've been sharing information with you you told me that you you really hated your boss and you know that's that's really a shame because I love where I work but you know I am my own boss so that's one thing you can throw out there you can also let them know hey listen you wanted to spend more time with your kids I'm not telling you that it's time for you to quit your job and, and, and change everything in your life not not at all you're going to continue you're going to continue to go ahead and share with them all the positive things from their negatives that they gave you you know you know based on what you told me you, you, you want more time with your family I know that you have a, a very busy life you're very very um, you know involved with so many different groups based on that and based on the fact that you're saying that you're an eight it's time to go ahead and just get your distributor ID number it's time for us to get to work and get you your time freedom that you're asking for it's time for you to be able to fire your boss you know yeah you may not fire your boss in the first six months you may not fire your boss in the first nine months but pr trust me when you get started you are on the road to firing your boss that's really really powerful you know oh you know what when you start off with your conversation, they say, hey, listen, I work in an office. Oh, really, what do you like about that? Give me two things that you like about working in the office. They're gonna give you two, and it might take them a second or two to tell you, but then ask them for three to five things that they hate about their, their office job. I bet you they don't have to delay, they don't have to wait. You find out their pains, and then you use those pains in the clothes. And do not be afraid to ask, Hey, listen, based on what you told me, you're ready. You're ready to go. So let's get your ID number right now and let's get started. That's a close. Don't say another word. Wait for them to reply. Oh, no, here's the objection. What is the biggest objection that we usually get? I bet if I, if I waited 30 seconds and let you guys just start typing them in, the biggest one is gonna be money. It's always money, right? And it's okay. If you did your if you did your work right and let's say the person owns their own business, make sure that when you talk to them, that's right, money, money, money. That's it's definitely what it's going to be. You're going to say to them, "Hey, listen, if they own their own business, you can say, "Listen, you own your own business, right? So you know what it costs to invest in a in a business. It's tons of money, right? You have to have either rent or a lease to a mortgage on the building." You have to pay electric, right? You have to have your business license, right? What else do you need? You need your insurance and your, you need all kinds of things in order to run a business. If I told you that this business cost you $2,500 and it's a multi-million dollar business, $250,000 just to set it up, wow, that's big. So listen, if I said, 2500 bucks you know because you're a business owner that that is no money that is no money right and if you don't have any money don't you think you could come up with $2,500 to invest in your own business and your own future in the next 24 hours for a million dollar or a multi-million dollar business yes right absolutely well this is only 1200 bucks and it's a one-time deal and you don't even need 24 hours to do this you know somebody and let me share a quick story that happened with me personal story guys 
I'm going to share this with you and you'll be more than welcome to use me when you talk to somebody that tells you you have money issues. I have a friend, his name is Richard Kirkman, and when he was introduced to this business, he was in a very hard place in his life, all right? He saw the opportunity and he saw how big the opportunity was. And you know what he did? He went to his mom. I'm 50 years old, guys. I went to my mom and I did not ask my mom for the money. What I did was I showed the opportunity to my mother. And I said, listen, <clears throat> this is what I want to invest my life into because I see how big this is. And that day, his mother loaned him the money to get into the business, okay? I didn't go begging for money, I went there with a plan. So tell your people, this is how you, you can do it. Show somebody the reason. Show them where that money is being invested when you see the science and you see all these things and you're going to somebody to back you to get into the business, you can do it. That's right. All you got to do is share the business with that person. They see the value and guess what? You're in the business. And you know what? Maybe the first person they share it with, they don't, they don't have the money either. But guess what? You just gave an exposure to somebody. Okay? Share it with somebody else and they may help you. No matter what the reason is, they can find the money. I love this, when I was in sales a long time ago, I'm gonna close with this because it's getting to be too long, this, this, this periscope. But <clears throat> we used to use a close all the time that said, you see that, fer that Ferrari right there? I got the keys to that Ferrari sitting right here. I got the keys right here for that Ferrari. You have one hour. Go get me $1,000. I'm going to give you the keys to that Ferrari. When you put that into perspective, how quickly could you find 500 bucks, 1,000 bucks? Done. That's right. I don't care if you live on a bench. You can find the money for that. You can find the money for that. So, oh, guys, I get excited about sales because... That's not what we do. We share the information. But thank goodness we have a close involved in it because it makes me feel like I'm in sales still. Okay? So, all right. I'm going to end this right now. I want to bet you guys. Thank you. You're welcome. You're welcome. Um, if you're loving what you're hearing, give me some hearts. I'm trying to... Hey, you know what? We are three away from a thousand followers. Guys, share this with the people that aren't following and hopefully we can help them build their business. I'm so excited about Periscope. I mean, it is amazing. It is an amazing tool. I've been asked to speak on a few groups about it and, and it's, it really makes me feel like I have some extra self-worth to give to you guys and I'm glad that I'm able to. Um, please get your tickets to Anaheim. I know I keep pounding this down your throat don't wait until the price goes up again. Get your ticket now for Anaheim. You can always sell your ticket if you can't make it for some reason. If there's a something happens, you stub your toe, you can't get in the car and get there, you can't get on an airplane because you broke a fingernail. Whatever the excuse, get your ticket to Anaheim. Come on. We're going to have a big party there. We're going to all meet each other. We're going to exchange phone numbers. We're going to have the biggest three-way call list in the world, okay? All right, guys. God bless you. Have a great day. I love the hearts. Thank you so much. And uh, do some three-way calls. It's Friday night. Make sure your list is set up. Make a handful of calls tomorrow. Make a handful of calls on Sunday. Don't be afraid to make those calls. We're here to help you. Everybody in LifeVantage is here to help you. Peace out. Have a great night. Bye.